The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea. With a rollicking song, he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather-beaten. He wears a hooded sash, with a silver hat about his head, and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country. A villain, big and bold, and the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down, and laugh when he's conquered and won. The Las Vegas Raiders have come a long way on the defensive side of the ball. So far this year. They're number 14 in the NFL in yards and number 16 in points. Last year, they were number 25 in yards and number 30 in points. A big part of why the Raiders are so much better on defense is they don't give up a lot of big plays like they did last year. And that's because of their vastly improved play at safety. On passes of 20 plus yards, the Raiders are only allowing a completion percentage of 18% with no touchdowns, two interceptions, and a passer rating of 29.2. Under defensive coordinator Gus Bradley, strong safety Jonathan Abram is playing much more disciplined football while his role in the defense is more defined. And free safety Trayvon Merrick, the 2021 second round pick I thought the Raiders should have picked in round one, is playing like a first round pick. He replaced Eric Harris, who's probably the worst NFL free safety I've ever seen in my life. No wonder. They're both still very young, so they're not perfect. Merrick shows here he still needs to learn to plaster to his receiver when the quarterback is scrambling. And sometimes, he still takes a long angle to the ball when coming downhill to make the tackle. I had that in his college evaluation. And Abram is still learning that he can't blow everybody up. Najee Harris about to give him that work. Oh. Sometimes, you just need to run to the ball, break down and make the play instead of trying to blow people up. Instead of getting shook like this. Oh. He also doesn't have the length to defend a pass intended for one of those big tight ends. But Abram is very comfortable with life in the box. He'll make the tackle if his defensive linemen or linebackers don't make it. The Raiders do struggle against the run at times, but Abram does his part. I love it when he reads the play and knives into the backfield. Love it even more when he does it and the result is a tackle for a loss. He's also a very good blitzer that disrupts the quarterback when doing so. He's gonna put that heat on rookie quarterback Justin Fields here. He's also good at sniffing out and running down tunnel, bubble, or whatever type of screen you have. And whether it be a screen or any type of pass, if it's in his area, he's going to make the tackle. Here, he shows the presence of mind to make the tackle while keeping the ball carrier in bounds to wind the clock down. Here he's going to show some hustle to make up for Damon Arnett not touching the receiver down after he gets burnt deep. That's going to save a touchdown right there. That's what safeties do. Here he is at single high and he's going to make that all important tackle as the last line of defense.
Abram still has a little ways to go in coverage, but he's doing so much better this year. Don't mind the flag on this one because the ball was tipped. Here, he's going all the way down the scene with his man. Here he's coming out of the left of the screen and he has his man deep. Now he's in a short zone and he's going to read the quarterback's eyes and get one. And if you catch the ball in this area, he's gonna hit you. If you have the ball near him, period, he's gonna hit you. Field's about to get that work. Oh, he wasn't the same after that hit either. Well, here's a screen, a running start, and oh. Here he's going to be in man coverage. It's a deep ball, and he's going to end up coming off of his man to lower the boom. Oh, you got to love it when he jars the ball loose. Now we're on to Mary who wants to come downhill from his free safety spot and get involved in the run game. Here he's coming from the bottom of the screen full speed to make the play. Oh, he can hit a little bit too. He loves to come downhill and get it. He doesn't mind sticking his nose in there on goal line situations either. Oh, I told you you hit a little bit. Here he's gonna help save a touchdown and lay a big hit on him at the same time. Oh. Here he's coming out at the top of the screen to make an important tackle. That stops a big play from getting even bigger. You gotta love a free safety that can make these types of plays as he comes out at the top of your screen. Here, Abram's gonna peel back to help him keep a big play from getting bigger. And this one was definitely to keep Austin Eckler from scoring a touchdown. He might have saved one here too. Here in the passing game, he has to have the slot corners back as he's blitzing. Here's another touchdown saving play. And another one. There he goes on the screen. Here comes the cover three beater with the linebacker in coverage. At least Merrick was there to make the tackle. Between being in the wrong place and missing tackles, how many of these plays would Eric Harris have made? 
The further we go along this season, the more Merrick starts to get his hands on the football. He's going to catch this one, but he's out of bounds. Then the Broncos test him and he can't quite hold on to that one. And against their better judgment, they test him again. And this time, he's going to get him. Abram has that youthful enthusiasm. He's a big hitter. Sometimes he makes them flip. And definitely don't try to jump over him. All while his coverage skills are improving. The rookie has that youthful enthusiasm too. His tackles stop bad running plays from getting worse. They also stop bad passing plays from getting worse. And while he's not giving up big plays, He's starting to get his hands on a few more footballs. So watch out for the Raiders' young safety tandem. Thank you for watching. See you next time.